If you're watching this video, it's because you're awesome, and you're about to learn something that makes you even more awesome. Welcome back to Sane Auto, my hashtag insane friends. We're happy to see you here. If this is your first time here, I'm Victor Sane, Master Technician. Okay, this video is going to be on replacing the hub bearings on the back of the Toyota Camry. We've already done the front hub bearings in another video. And in this video, it's going to be a do-it-yourself video. So we're not going to be using the big lift at the shop in Chattanooga. Uh, down here in Georgia, we're not going to be using this space right here either. Uh, the space where the Corvette's at, no, that would be too easy. Uh, and the Mach 1's over here in this other very convenient spot uh, where the door's right there. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to put it over there where the Jaguar's at. We're not even going to take it out here and put it on the con nice concrete pad over there, which would be too convenient, too easy. We're going to do what you probably have to do, and that is put it in the yard under the shady tree in the grass and dirt. And I'm going to show you how we still do this safely, because put the jack up underneath of it, jack the back end up, and put the safety stand right there. And then, as you can see, I make this piece of wood right here. And this is my handle, so I don't have to lean over so far to get it underneath the car. And then I put the jack on that so it doesn't sink into the dirt and stuff. And then I use another piece of wood for a little table for myself. And there's the new hub bearing assembly, which is also a little lazy because, I mean, you could, you could save another maybe 10 bucks. If you buy just the bearings and press it all apart and with the press that you saw in there but you probably don't have a press either so this is probably the way you're going to want to do it plus that's a lot of work for just 10 bucks extra savings you're already going to be if you order this with the link that i have in the description you're already going to be paying about half of what you'd pay at the parts store so i also have a, a lazy stool to sit on roll cart full of tools so hopefully I don't have to walk back and forth that much. And we will be telling you at the end of the video exactly which tools we used and what sizes they are so you don't have to walk back and forth. And let's get started. Now just so I'm not going completely stone knives and bear claws, I am using my smallest portable air compressor and some air tools. <coughs> If you don't have an air compressor or an air gun, there are several lithium-ion electric air guns on the market that are good nowadays. Not that long ago, they were they were all crap and just completely useless and a waste of money. But nowadays, they're not only very good ones on the market, uh, but they're actually quite affordable compared to the air guns. Not much more than the air guns. Now, sometimes, if somebody like me hasn't already been in here, get around here, make sure you can see, you may have trouble getting this drum off. And if you do, there are little holes right here that are threaded. And if you look at my video on how to do drum brakes, on one of these Toyotas, you'll see I show how to get these drums off by putting the bolt in here, tapping on it with a hammer to get it broke loose around here, and tighten the screw, and tap on it and tighten the screw. But this is going to come off so easily because I've been here before, and you can see a little bit of anti-seize, anti -seize, which will also be in the uh, link to this in the description, and anti-seize makes everything so much easier another thing you want to do every time you do something like this with drums and rotors is look for these history marks where you see the dirty circles and the dirty circles when you put this back together always lining them up with the dirty holes that way they can be happy and dirty together The lugs are 13 16 and 14 millimeter and an extension gets you to the bolts holding the 
hub assembly on. <laughs> Probably wear a dust mask while doing this. Blue is not the strongest Loctite there is. There's uh, red and stuff. You can use whichever Loctite you want on this application. The stronger the better because it does hold your wheel on. That's my neighbor's really nice Camaro that you're going down the road. See, just a little bit of blue on there. Get it all the way around the threads and we're ready to go. Let's get the condom off of it. here now you'll want to check on your hardware and your brake stuff while you've got it apart make sure everything's looking kosher there and if everything's hunky-dory you keep on keeping on now take this off of your air gun spin the big hole around and get everything started by hand before you ever get an air gun anywhere near any of this. You don't want to turn an easy job like this into a big project of trying to get out a cross-threaded bolt, chasing threads, buying a new bolt, these are grade eight, so you can't just use the regular bolt and just go to the hardware store and say, Hey, you got a bolt. You either have to go to the dealer, order it, or go to the junkyard and get one. Either one of those tasks is going to take more time than this whole job. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I started this at 3.30. I got to be somewhere at 5 o'clock. So, just like your life, everybody else's life, you know, from start to finish, you got a deadline. There's always something else you got to do. And you can't monkey around with this stuff. You got to get it done. And that's not all the way tight. So I started them by hand. I still like to go around. Run them down a bit. And then cut back around for another pass for my final torquing. That way if I feel anything wrong with any one bolt for any reason, I can stop, take things apart what's happening before doing any damage. Again, I don't know if you can see all that dust coming out on camera, but I recommend you wear a dust mask if you're going to be doing this. gone over that enough. Absolutely certain that it is very, even though this is brand new, a brush to this just in case. Because it only takes one little tiny piece of trash between this hub. Where's my 
drum. And this drum to give you a bad day. You don't want to weave a wobble wheel. You get all the trash. Remember your history marks are here, here, and here. So we want those to go here, here, and here. Just in case, break that stuff loose. Now there, another reason why you should be wearing a dust mask. Right now it's a really windy day. Hope it's not interfering with you being able to hear what I say on the microphone. But it's a pretty windy day, so it's it's blowing most of the dust away from me. Okay, this needs to line up with here. And these two history marks line up with here. So I'm going to put my finger over this hole right here, which I'll line up with here. We're sure we won't have any seized lug nuts. <laughs> now in the amount of time that it would have taken you to call around, get prices on doing this job, Make an appointment and drop off the car, you're already done. And you know the job's done right, you know there's Loctite on the bolts, you know there's a, a tiny bit of anti seize on the lug studs. So if you have a flat, you're not going to have trouble getting the tire off on the side of the road. You got a little bit of anti seize on the hub, so if you got to go back and do some brake work, you're not going to have trouble getting the drum off. None of these things would be true if you paid somebody else to do it because you don't know what they're going to do. And, and this isn't that quick because I had it on my, my big rotary lift or, or because I had it in the barn there because you know, even the the air tool doesn't make that much of a difference in this job because you could have done that with a four-way and you could have hit that with a hand ratchet those four bolts and still done this in it, probably within five ten minutes of the same amount of time so go check out the description and if your car isn't exactly the same as this still click on that same link for the the hub bearing assembly and then enter your information for your vehicle to get the correct hub assembly for your vehicle can you hear that scrubbing yeah that's not good it feels and I know you can't feel this because you you're, you can't hold this but it feels like when you turn this thing it feels like it's rubbing rocks in there like it's 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 a rock crusher or something so not good that could have damaged this brand new tire could have caused cupping anyway till the next video get off the couch and get dirty thank you for watching the whole video remember folks if you don't like being burnt bruised and bleeding the only safe way to do your repairs is just pay somebody else to do it Welcome to St. Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a St. Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacemos reparaciones de autos. We also film hot rods and mod rods, project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea 
all those antique ones, mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise ins, so make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros a los cruise ins y car shows. Entonces, empuja ese botón y toca la campaña para no pierda nada. Thank you for watching our videos. Many of the events, shows, and people that we feature support much needed charities. Bastante de eventos que nosotros filmean soporta caridad. Please take a child or a friend to one of these events and make sure that they're aware of all the good works that the great people of the car community do. Por favor, lleva un niño or un amigo a los eventos para que sepa de buenos trabajos que hacen los coordinadores de evento. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.